welcome back to our channel. My name is Icy and I'm Ivy and today we're gonna do a library haul. These are the loans from the library that have been accumulated for the past months and have been renewed so many times and reborrowed. It's a lot. Okay, since you have a lot of books, you go first. Spoiler alert, we might not know the plot of some of these books, so bear with us, like always. <laughs> the first two books, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, book one. Book two, A Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. So I've actually read Gentleman's Guide and I loved it. We'll do that in the November wrap-up. So anyway, this book is about Monty who, who goes on the grand tour with his best friend and his sister. And things just happen. They're everywhere. And they met so many people. It's based in the 1700s, so 18th century. It's actually 500 pages. It's just seen smaller forms. <laughs> yeah. I finished this pretty quickly. It's fun. And I can't wait to read the second book because I love, love, love Felicity. Yes. The Killer Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. This has been in my TBR for quite a while. This came out this year. And I've seen a few booktubers talk about this book. And I've seen popular Goodreads accounts mark this as want to read and apparently it's like a retelling of the little mermaid and i hope this makes up for the surface breaks <laughs> apparently it's like a dark retelling of the little mermaid mm. yeah i've seen that in booktube a lot so the third book is an absolute remarkable thing by hank green hello mr green the other mr green john green's brother oh. This is oh. Hank's first book. So pretty rare for a new book to find in the library. I think it's sci-fi. Looks like a pretty quick read too, even though it's big. Can't wait to read this. It has high rating. Yeah. A high average rating on good reading. And Christine from Poland Bananas Books read this and she made a review about this. So. Another retelling I have is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I believe this is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling. I'm not sure, but I was watching a couple of videos. Cindy reads. Read, read, reading with Cindy. Read with Cindy. Yeah, I think she read it. The cover is different. Australian cover. So it's different from the ones we've seen on videos. I'm not quite sure what this is about, but like I said, <laughs> It's probably a Red Riding Hood retelling and it's just very intriguing because it's so dark. And I like retellings. And it says here, mm. Her own mother is stolen away by a figure who claims to come from the supernatural world where the fairy tales are set. Alice's only clue is the message left behind. Stay away from the hazel. I'm very excited to read this. So next book, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I think a lot of people have read this. Next I book. kind of have a basic understanding of what it's about. That's on my TBR list as well. It's about you'll get a text message or something when you know you're gonna die that day. 24 hours. This guy found another person who's gonna die as well on the same day. They go and know each other. I think it's more on like about life. I don't know if it's a sad book. I can't wait to get to this soon. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I have this book City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. No idea what this plot is about but I'm assuming that the character in this book is the little girl from Vicious and she has a cat with her. And it's a middle grade book. The font is huge and it's short. Oh, it's and a it's nice short read. Pretty eerie for a, a middle grade book. book. To the city where I keep my bones. It was published this year. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's why I was dying to borrow it. I've been wanting to read like dark and adventurous books. This made it to the whole. Next, I have The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily Danforth. 
people, I don't really know what this is about. But I know it's about Cameron. <laughs> I've heard good recommendations about this book and I didn't know that there is a movie oh. about this. It's a pretty thick book, almost 500 and the font is small. I hope to get to read this. I have so many books. Next one is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steph Vodder. Steve Vodder. I've been seeing this book around the library and on Goodreads, ending up on everyone's want to read list. I was like, mm, why not? <laughs> not knowing what it's about, but I think it's a supernatural fantasy book about people being the, the, the almost dead or something. I was just mm. reading it earlier. <laughs> It's actually the first book of the series. I think there's like four books. I'm not exactly sure what are they fighting for or what the main theme is, but it sounds like an adventure. Mm -hmm. And it's dark. I was reading the sleeve. I just didn't know how to summarize the story. Maybe I, I really do have to read it. Next books, I have book two and three of the Starbound series, The Shattered World and their fractured light. So a Starbound trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I the like poem. the first book. It's actually really nice. So I read the first book last year. So it's about... It's like outer space. Like they're in different planets and then there's this corporation they have to fight. It's like Gemini Illuminae and Obsidio. There's like three different <laughs> pairs of couples that oh. meet outer space. I might need to watch some review videos of the first book because yeah. I kind of forgot about it now. I really like the writing style, the world, and can't wait to get more of it. Mm. My last book is Magnus Chase. In the Ship of the Dead. So I've been wanting to read the second Magnus Chase book, which I read last week and I finished it. I've read Norse mythology this year which has the same characters. I didn't find it as good as Percy Jackson but it's still fun. Still a fun book to read. A lot of adventures. I like middle grade because it's easy to understand. <laughs> when you just want to read and think, think too much. Yeah. And I like the cliffhanger in the second book. Ship of the Dead. The last um, Magnus Chase book. I fell behind on the series. I read the first book maybe 2016 and then I've only read the second book this year. Yeah. Next book. This has been going on on booktube a lot. Like everyone's crazy for it. Like tits out crazy for it. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. So she's read it. I read it. I've heard that the writing style is amazing. It's and like a world. completely different world. Yeah. I can't really find proper summaries of the book because mm -hmm. it's because it's a completely different yeah. world. You have to read it to understand. Yeah. If you start telling people what it's about, you ruin it. Yeah. That's why Chloe from Books with Chloe can't really say anything about it. And the second book just came out this year, and so I want to read this. I want to read the news of nightmares. Yeah. Of and hopefully they're available at the library. And this is a big shistic. So hopefully I get to read this so that I can relate to everyone. Mm. So my current read, I've been reading this book for maybe one to one and a half weeks. The first book of the... I don't even know the name of the series. And I Darkened by Kirsten White. It's like a historical young adult fantasy. It's very dark. All your books are dark. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> I think I'm late to the Halloween party. <laughs> so late. So it's really dark. It's like about kingdoms and stuff. And it's kind of like Game, Game of Thrones. Like you sell your daughters to other kingdoms and to have alliances. Stuff like that. And I like the lead. The lead singer. <laughs> I like the protagonist. <laughs> I like, I like the protagonist because she's very anti-princess and anti the stereotypical princess who's pretty save me. damsel in distress. But she's really ruthless. I'm um one third through. Like four hundred and sixty. Yeah. Is it good so far? Yeah. I like it but I don't like it enough 
to borrow the next books because we were at the library yesterday and we saw the next two books and I'm like, oh, but I want to read those ones first. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not good. It's good but it doesn't really stick with it. The last book I'm currently reading, A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. I think I have like 30 pages left, like one chapter. It's about the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and mm. Dr. Watson. The antagonist, of course, is a Moriarty. Duh. I really love the Sherlock series, but I haven't really read some of the Arthur Cameron Doyle books. But I love the TV shows and the movie. Um, is he a real person? No. Mm. So yeah. He's a real person. So this is about Charlotte Holmes and James Watson, who are in the States. They go to this boarding school. A classmate got murdered and they were accused of killing him. And they find out who really killed him and who's framing them. It's a pretty okay book. One chapter is like 40-50 pages. <laughs> you get unmotivated to read. It's a pretty good book. I don't know, there's just something missing. I will include that in the November wrap-up. Yeah, I'll talk more about it. And that concludes, concludes our, our book haul. Current book haul. So what do you think we should read next from all of these books? What's good, what's bad, what's on your haul? Thanks hey. for watching. Like and subscribe. And don't forget <laughs> to leave comments with regards to your thoughts, comments, or suggestions. <laughs> Bye! We'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,